Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we were in some kind of hot water, actually. This this place is pretty rough, and that's mainly down to these guys. These Azagals. These guys suck so bad. <laughs> yeah, these guys are a little bit of a problem. When you've just got one of them, it's not too bad. However... When there's multiple, yeah, things get a little bit dicey. They're not... Oh, you son of a bitch. See how much damage they do. Uh, it's absolutely savage. Uh, they are actually stopped with the time. But a lot of enemies coming up are not. So that time power is sort of useless. These werewolves are a prime example of enemies that... Don't give any shits about your time abilities. Uh, and whilst I'm thinking about it, actually, let's swap back to the Blood Cloak because we need some hearts. If we're going to get hit, we might as well get something out of it, if you ask me. But yeah, these guys, these guys hurt. I would say they're worth fighting for the XP, but they're not really. So that's another negative with these guys, and we're almost dead, but that's okay. I also love the way those guys burn up and die. It's absolutely fantastic. Now that is a white dragon. Yeah, these guys are fairly fragile, uh, but they can catch you off guard, and you better believe it. If they catch you off guard, you're going to have a bad time. All right, let's go grab all this stuff. And I believe if we keep going this way, we're going to find a nice... Actually, I think the save point's through here. And you better believe we're going to be wanting this bad boy. Oh, goody gumdrops. We needed that. We really needed that. Uh, there's also another one close by. And this area is extremely challenging. I definitely am sort of getting the feeling that we're under-leveled here. But that's... Ooh, that thing hurts if it hits us as well. That thing really hurts. We could probably um, defend against it if we used some sort of fire armor. However, I don't think that's super useful. Now, these stone skulls appear to be invulnerable. At least I haven't found a method of dealing with them. There's our aquamarine. This is not a fantastic place to be in, but luckily these guys don't seem to do a huge amount of damage to us. Thanks to our sword friend there for saving our ass just a little bit whilst we get ourselves absolutely kicked around. Like the little weakling we are and one second i need to answer a message all right let's try and make some more progress shall we i don't think the white snake is actually worth fighting at all to be honest Whoop. not today satan Ooh, i haven't seen him do that move before Yeah, I really don't think they're worth, like, fighting at all. But that's fine. Anyway, let's keep going this way. And over here... I believe... No, I don't think we want to... Actually, let's go through here. This is a disgusting large hall of death. And we're going to have an incredibly bad time in here. Right, make some space. Let's get that holy water. Earning its keep. I'm going to try and smash everything in this room by virtue of holy water. There we go. All right. Now, unfortunately, you can see we kind of did take a bit of a kick in there for like less than 200 experience. Oof. Not great, but that's fine. Anyway. We want to keep progressing 
to this side. And there is, I believe, a trio of bosses coming up soon. Which is... Where are we? So... Hmm. This is a bit of a spicy time. I believe in here is a saving room, actually. Oh, sweet mercy. Sweet merciful lord. And again, ah, we must pause because I'm getting thousands of messages from people. Uh, as always. Right, anyway, let's keep going down. Ooh. It's a bit of a spicy little area. Now... I'm kind of curious at how useful this gun is. Let's take the gun for a bit. Um, now... We have gone off track, actually. Let's go back. Okay, I mean, the gun's... All right, actually. I don't know why we're firing lightning at the same time. That's curious. That actually seems really powerful. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's lean on this for a bit. Alright, they do have to be on screen though, but that's fine. I like it. We're not making a lot of XP from these guys at all. Ooh, right. So, next on the docket is to clear out these guys down here. Boss time. We have three skeletons. But they will not remain skeletons. I'm guessing that these are guys from prior games. This bit is a little bit naughty, a little bit spicy, but we should be okay. I say should. I'm going to remain optimistic. Now this ninja guy is going to be kind of a huge pain in our ass. So if we can get rid of him, that'd be great. He's done. Now it's just... Is that Trevor? And I don't know why I changed into a bat there. That was not productive, uh, uh, productive at all. Yeah, I think that's like Trevor Belmont or something. Like I say, you'll have to forgive me. I'm not the most queued up or clued up on the uh, Castlevania franchise. If we can just lean on our abilities here. I do keep forgetting that the mist ability makes us invincible. That's certainly something that we can lean on. I'm going to whip your little ass, boy. You're being a prick. Come on, how'd you like that, huh? You like that? Yeah, you did. And that was stupid. Ooh, oh, dear lord. That's not very good now, is it? Now, last time I actually killed her first. So she didn't spawn any of her minions, but that's fine. Got ourselves another heart. Whew. Okay, let's try and link these two places together and go and save it. Because I'm pretty sure that would be a good idea. All right. Let's keep going, shall we? Now, there is a couple of things around here that we potentially could have found, but we haven't. Now, this is the awful room of death that I was mentioning earlier. This, these guys, oh my god, guys, these guys, not a fan. They do an insane amount of damage to us. Their hitbox is ridiculous. And I, yeah, we can't hit them from over there. And when there's so many of them, I think you've got to aim for the hilt of the sword. But if that sword actually hits you, you take loads of damage. Which is bad. Yeah, and their hitbox moves so quickly. You cannot really get away from it in time. 
I guess we could lean on our sword friend here a little bit. But as you can see, he only does like a pitiful amount of damage. All right, let's back that up. I would say we're going to stay here and wait for them to come to us. But they don't really do that. They kind of just stay trapped over here. Oh, uh, we're going to get hurt. Yeah. That was not good. I think so far, these are probably the enemies that I hate the most. And we are going to get destroyed. We need some health. Yeah. Oh, my God. See that swing? Like, you cannot avoid it. Right. Um, let's get some healing items, shall we? Uh, equip. It's been a hot minute since I've played this game. Uh, and there probably is some kind of, like, easy way of taking these guys on that I just don't know about. But, you know, we're not going to worry about that too much. Let's try and find some healing items. Like, all the way down here. Somewhere. There we go. High potion. Oof. Only 100 health. Huh. It's not as amazing as I was hoping, going to be honest. But it's what we've got, so that's what we're going to use. Yes, we're just going to have to hide back here. Oh, there's all three of them now. Man, just can't get that hitbox on this guy. At all. There we go. Now, it might be worth just running past these guys, because they're not worth any experience at all, really. Oh. Okay. Probably should have kept my holy water. Whoa. Oh, shit. We need a fucking weapon selected, don't we? Uh, I don't really know what would be best. I'm guessing... I mean, that weapon is crazy. Strong versus holy. Are these, like... Holy enemies. Yeah, we're just getting battered around. Yeah, they, they will stun lock you into a corner. Well, nope, they are not holy. So I guess if they're not holy, they are probably... Let's try that, I suppose. Yeah, if they're not holy, then they're going to be demonic enemies. That's doing more damage. That's what we like to see. We're just going to have to keep chipping away at these guys the best we can. They are covering each other, which I'm not a fan of. I do not like the way that we have to keep swapping in and out of this to heal. Not a fan of that at all. In fact, this inventory system uh, in general is really bad. We're going to get hit here. See if we can't just knock them back a little bit. Give ourselves a bit of breathing. Yeah, oh, fucking hell, man. Oh, God. Okay, so now where is our weapon? I would say this is probably a issue with collecting all of the items because your inventory just fills up. Next hit, we're dead. Next hit, we are dead. That's not great at all. Unfortunately, this weapon is uh, not doing us any favors. Okay, so here's the Fury Plate. That is literally the only reason I wanted to come in here. <laughs> um, now, I don't know how good that is. Defense goes up when damage taken. Okay. Now, let's try. Ah, oh, no. No, no. No. Let's see. 
if we can get out of here and get back to a save point. <sighs> okay, it's not that far away. But we've wasted a lot of healing. Now, we could try and make a break for back for this one. That works. Okay, so if an enemy doesn't see you, like if your back's to it, it's almost like they don't know you're here, which is fine by me. There we go. I guess we could also turn into mist and just like sneak past that way. But don't really want to rely on that mechanic too much. Although, I don't know, it's... Ah, shit. I've done fucked up. Definitely done fucked up. Or maybe they just don't aggro you if you're too far away from them. That could be it. And we're out of, out of hearts. So that's bad. But that's fine. Right, let's get out of here. Come on. Save room, please. Oh, that was intense. That was incredibly intense. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this area is certainly tricky. Uh, I actually, I don't mind this weapon that we've got, this backup weapon. In fact, let's go take a load of damage to get our hearts back. We we'll use that. Use the enemies to our advantage. And then we'll go get our health back. Is it cheating? Absolutely not. Yeah, this sword is just amazing, but obviously you sacrifice your defense in a huge way by using it. Ah, oh, okay. Sweet, sweet freedom. All right. So now we need to go get ourselves a buffalo star and we need to get the Zucron. And then we've kind of got ourselves sorted in this area. You know what? I guess the best way to get past this guy is just use mist. You know, I can see myself using that ability a lot to get past enemies that I have no interest in fighting. It's almost as good as the bat. The only caveat to it, of course, is that it is slow, but that's okay. Yeah, and we still can't... Yeah, I don't know how to kill those. There has to be a way, I guess, but... Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So. Onwards. And upwards. Or something. So that is Gram. Gram is not a good weapon. At least as far as I'm aware. Gram is actually a very mediocre weapon. Ooh. This is where it is, guys. This is where it is. There we go. Huh? Demons? How do you like that shit? That's what we're talking about. Taste my lightning, fuckers. Yes. How the mighty have fallen. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we need to go up. There is a save point there. Let's sneak up around this sack of shit that's floating around. And head this way. We found the buffalo star. Nice. That's that. We just need the Zucron. And then this area is tapped out. Um... And say we weren't moving then it's like why are you not moving Alucard you fool you're gonna kill us all get out of here 
I would say um, I have no idea how to damage those guys and if anybody's got any tips that would be brilliant but I would have most likely completed this game by the time this goes up so okay that was badass and I don't know how I did it but then we've got like a lot of moves and whatnot that I have no idea how to do I think I like having this disgusting damage output over a little bit of armor when I say a little bit of armor, I mean like all of the armor. So, yeah, we're still a long ways off leveling. Let's go and save it. And there, guys, we're going to call it a video. My God, that was a fight and a half, wasn't it? An enjoyable fight and a half, but a fight and a half nonetheless. So I need to update my map with all of the stuff that we've got. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.